Welcome to Somsta Games, the place to find new strategy games, and welcome to my tutorial on slash slash hex. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about how to solve the first three nodes, force, injection, and keylogger. If you are unfamiliar with the game, if you don't know in the interface or things like that, make sure to check out my first guide will explain things like that. I will also be making future video or videos where I'm going to be talking about the other nodes like Cypher and Ghost. Alright, so let's begin. Now we're going to start this off with our very first node, Force Node. The first node we're going to talk about is the Force Node. It has a symbol of a skull over here. So as I explained in the previous uh, part, you first need to unlock the force and then you need to run the force application. So this is representing sort of like a brute force system of trying to get a password. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to, after you open the application, you're going to jump to the force node and click on it. And here you type any random password. So you start off by typing random letters, for example, hello. And then you click tab again to switch to this other screen. And this will tell you the probability of this being the right password. After that, you need to click on calculate and it will show you here the possible passwords that you can get. So we're gonna pick one of those. We're gonna pick donate and you're gonna type donate. And then again, you're gonna click tab to jump back and this will tell you the probability. Now, because this probability here is higher, you will get less option here on the side. So this time we're gonna try pirate. Pirate has a higher probability, 50%. So if we click again, we get a little less option. So we'll try future this time. We succeeded. Now, so now this node has turned blue because we were successful. Injection node. So injection node, you can see an injection node over here. It has a symbol of a syringe. And just like before, you're first going to unlock injection and then you're going to run the injection application. Now, you're going to see here the injection application and here you're going to cl click on the end node and you're going to see this screen. All right, so this is our starting node and this is our end node. What's important is that each pipe has to be connected to the starting node. You cannot have a pipe that's just kind of like in the middle like right here. It has to be connected. The starting pipe also has to be connected to the end pipe, okay? So there's a lot of space, so how would you connect it? Well, the way to do this is that you can add pipes. So we're going to click tab to go to the injection application and you can place new pipes here. So for example, I want a pipe here, a sort of like a turning pipe. So this is A3, so I'm going to grab this and move it to A3. I'm going to click and drag, and then you're going to turn it right here in the right direction. I'm going to do the same with B4 place it over here then up here we're gonna place a T so we're gonna go with this and see it's very nicely connected and we're gonna place a 4 up here so that's in C2 okay and we're going to have an upwards thing down here so now we're well connected and then here we're gonna need to place another T so we can connect all of this now if you actually have a connection, like all of this, all of the pipes are connected to the first one, you could just place a turning pipe here in E2, I'll show you. Now, at this point, all the pipes are connected, so you might think that this is gonna work. Actually, it's not, because some of the water, or the data essentially, could move from this pipe into nowhere, so we need to place a stopper node, which is this thing over here. So into D1, we're gonna place a stopper node, and we're going to turn it the right way. So at this point, this is going to be a successful thing. So I'm going to do it in a moment. If you're happy with the setup, you're going to click here on inject and you can see that it's successful and the node will turn blue. Now, what's important is that if you make a mistake, you cannot go back. So let me show you now. I made a mistake. You can see that this node here, there's no way I can appropriately connect it. So this just means I made a mistake. So at this point, you would just click inject. It will tell you that it's a deny that you did that wrong. However, in this particular scenario, it doesn't matter because we have that one error allowed, but it just means you did it wrong. You cannot like take a step back and redo it. Okay. The key logger note. So just like with the other ones, you first want to unlock the key logger and then the run the key logger application. Just going to start off by being empty. Then you jump here to the key logger note, which 
has a key in it. So you're going to click on it and you're going to see this screen. And you're going to jump back to your applications and you're going to click here on the lock. And in the lock thing, you're going to see some letters being blue. In this case, it's M, O, and J. Now, these are the letters that are valid for this. So we're going to jump back to the key logger and we have to find one of these letters here. They might not all be there. In our case, the only thing we have is M. So we're going to click space to stop it and you need, it needs to be in this sort of uh, highlighted area, in this white area. So we manage that and you're going to jump back to your control screen and you're going to click lock on the next one. So this time we've got four H, I, five and one. So we're going to find one of these. We're going to stop at four. And right, so we're going to set this to M to four and you're going to continue like this until you get to the end. If at any of these you fail, just like we saw with the previous injection node, it will the node will be failed and if you cannot fail any nodes in this mission, then you lose. When you're doing the final one, if you get that correctly, it will immediately consider the success. You didn't need to click anything extra like you had to with the injection. So we have C9 or H. I'm going to wait for C. And now the moment I click it, it just says successful. You do not need to wait for any additional stuff. Alright, so that's it for this part of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when the video for the for the next part comes out. See you there. Bye bye.